uh, behind the scenes interviews with cast and crew. Today we have the pleasure of Miss Vanessa Neff, one of the stars of the movie. How are you? I'm wonderful. You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you I very love this much. outfit. It's going to pop on the camera. It was picked intentionally for that reason. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, can I get a shout out to where it came from? Right there. All yours. Style Finder, North Hills, Raleigh. So, let's get there's another shout out you need to give, right? Because you have been selected as like most beautiful under or over 40. I keep thinking under 40 because that's what you are to me. <laughs> Yes, well, it's fab over 40. Fab over 40. Yes, I'm still in the running, so I made it to the top 10 in my group, and um, there's four or five days left to move on to the next level. So if you can find, can you put a link? Absolutely. Smurfly. Ah, he'll put a link in there. So if yeah. you would go on and vote for me, I would be most grateful. But how are you, how are you enjoying the set? How are you enjoying this experience? I am so impressed with the cast that's been selected and the crew, the camera crew is amazing. Keeping their cool, such professionals, just absolutely a, a pleasure to work with these people. Well, it's pretty easy to work with you too. We haven't had any scenes together. But Not yet. Well, are we going to? Yeah, we, no, Well, actually. you were behind me with your um, Dick's Oh, that's right. Daisy Dukes. That's right. <laughs> I was and shaking my money maker. Yeah, yeah. You, you were behind me. That's that right. One. So, yeah, you'll have to wait for that. I think we covered it in another video. Yeah, um, it's funny. For some of the aspiring actors, because we're kind of both kind of getting started in our careers, right? Mm -hmm. But we've been fortunate enough to get, like, a feature film. I've had several feature films. There you go. So, so don't listen to me. Yes. Listen to Miss Not Care. Why don't you give some advice to some aspiring actors? Oh gosh, you know, take acting classes. That has been such a great help to me. And especially where I live in the Raleigh area, I'm uh, associated with Back to One Studios. And the community there is just such a wonderful family to be a part of. They will help you out no matter what you're trying to pursue. They have people that teach theater acting and uh, TV, camera, film, and screenwriting, just all kinds of different opportunities. And all the actors support each other. It's not a huge competition between each other because we know everybody has their own magic. You know, I can't play him, he can't play me. And that's for sure. If, I can't play her. If, if, she could probably play me, though. <laughs> But, I'm not that hard to I mean, play. that has been the biggest help to me to just get involved with the community, you know, taking the classes and then being with other creatives in the business to learn how to navigate. Sure. I think that one of the, we're kind of fortunate in where we are in at this point in time with technology too, right? Because here you are in North Carolina and I'm in LA, which is like the epicenter, mm -hmm. but yet, you know, you're still getting a role. You're auditioning because there's a lot of solid technological platforms that you can yes. submit on, you know, uh, self-tape auditions. So yes. geography is no longer a limitation. If you're, if you want to act, right? I mean, it's just, Actors just get out there and do it. Yeah. And backstage exactly. are the two bigger ones. Well, at least in my area, I, agree. I know that Us in too. LA, I think they use, we use those two some as well. other, okay. But, um, just casting networks too. But. Ca yes. Yeah. And you know, you have to learn how to use those. Yeah. You have to learn how to do your self tapes, which, you know, a lot of actors had to do, learn how during the pandemic because you, right. you couldn't go in and have you know right <laughs> have that done for you you had to learn so yeah i started during the pandemic so that's all i know yeah. i all i know are self tapes yeah and it's like one of the i've heard some of some actors get frustrated because of audition i mean it's like you put you put out your best performance and then you don't get a call back and you're like you didn't get the part but that doesn't mean exactly go ahead you didn't do a good job right it just means that you know, they took one look at you and you were not what they had in mind. That, right. Don't get discouraged. De definitely you not. You gotta keep trying because, you know, you can't win if you don't play. Absolutely. Right? So you gotta keep trying and it takes a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, look at me. I don't fit a lot of roles. You know, if they want a grandma, I don't look like everybody's grandma. That's I'm the for right sure. age. I've got silver hair, but I don't look like a grandma. And so, you know, I get you know, audition requests and then I don't 
fit. So it's really frustrating, but that's the great thing about this role. I really believe it's like this role of Iris Aww. in Bad Senator. You're was killing you, for by me. the way. You are. You really are. Very kind, you're, thank you. You're, 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 she's killing you. Well, I'm, I'm Iris. I will say also, I found that when I changed my perspective, so I started looking at, because I was like, I would get that, that disappointment, like, oh man. But the moment I started looking at auditions as, well, this is just work. And I, it's an opportunity yep. to practice my craft. Yep. And I started having fun with auditions. Boom, roles yep. started just coming in. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and one of the things for me and one of the classes that I took that helped me was, um, I was taking a class at Back to One Studios with Bronwyn Carson, and she was like, I don't believe you until you do it again. I don't believe you. And that's how you learned. And you and you were taped. And one of the things that helped me was paraphrasing. And she said, okay, just pretend like you're talking those lines in your own words. So I did. And then she said, okay, now do your monologue. And it was like, I turned on this acting thing. And it was so obvious, I'm like. Hmm, that's so interesting. That's, that's it. That's the key. Just be a real person. Yeah. You know, don't act. You need to just be a person that would normally say these things. And sure. That's what I like about working with Bob Gallagher is he's very, a very, he's very professional. Bob is the other star in the movie, by the way, guys. But he also is, it's like talking to a real person. Yeah. Like when we're doing a scene together, we are those people and we mean those words. Sure. We've said them so many millions of times, you know, working up to the <laughs> days of being on set. Not with each other, but to be able to say them to the person that they were written for just takes it to a whole new level. Sure, of course. Of being able to deliver, you know, for Iris to be able to say that to Richard. Right, right. It just is very fulfilling. I haven't had the chance to do my monologues yet, but, um, and they're not as heavy as yours by any means. That being said, uh, give me some insight on what it's like to have Chad direct you. Is he oh. is he a scary director or is he an awesome director? Is he no. easy? Is he an actor's director? I love that he is clear, and if you're not giving him what he wants, he will let you know. Cool. That's good and to know. And when you do your job, and you you're not sure how that was, he will come up to you and say, "That was great." That was fabulous. You're doing a great job. So when no, he says that, it's not, he's not just doing that just to like make you feel better or anything. It's like when he. I hope he not. Gets, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, thanks for letting me think that. No. <laughs> I meant, um, <laughs> well, no, but it's, he seems, he strikes me as being super easy to work with. I mean, I've had smaller I, scenes with him, I think but I think I'm really looking forward to it. Doing a great job yeah. directing this film because, you know, it's his vision. Yeah. He's you also know, the writer. Yeah. Yes. And so. Yeah. You know, he can uh, tell us what he envisioned when he wrote the words. Yeah, when he and imagined this process. There have been times when he'd come up and said, "That's exactly, exactly how I pictured it." That's amazing. And that makes an actor so yeah. happy to hear. That, that is that is one hell of a compliment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's been well. Cool. Thank you so much. I really enjoy working with you, and thank yeah. you for interviewing with me here. Yeah. And making it so easy. Yeah. Guys, it's been great. Bad Senator, the movie.com. The website's about to come out shortly, so just keep checking back and make sure you go see the movie. Again, Miss Vanessa Neff, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye.